Apple is getting even closer to a set of smart glasses. Here's what the latest rumors say as to what features they'll have and when they'll be released. Before getting into the details, if you want to keep up to date with the latest Apple news and reviews, hit that subscribe button. Rumors of Apple's ambitious smart glasses have gone back at least a decade. After copious amounts of rumors and speculation, we eventually got what turned out to be the Apple Vision Pro. This full spatial computer isn't the end of Apple's wearables, though. New reports highlight Apple's upcoming smart glasses, including when we may see them. One of the most interesting things we've heard is that Apple doesn't seem to be fully sold on the route to take. It could follow in Meta's footstep, launching an Apple-branded pair of glasses like the Ray-Ban AI glasses. Or it could go more like augmented reality, showing visual information on the lenses of the glasses overlaying the physical world. I think what's most likely is that Apple does both, and it's clear which one will get first. The latest news comes out of Apple's chip efforts. The crack silicon team that has made all of Apple's super impressive chips is working on a new set of silicon for smart glasses. It's based on the S series chip designed for Apple Watch, which makes sense if the glasses are yet another iPhone companion. Apple's chips for iPhone, iPad, and Mac are incredibly powerful, but I think the ones it uses on other products are even more impressive. It's H2 chip for AirPods that leverage Class 1 Bluetooth audio for great connectivity and range that still no one can beat. The chip for Apple Watch to power all its features while leaving out the parts that aren't necessary for a watch. It has the R1 chip for tracking motion on the Apple Vision Pro and even the new C1 modem on iPhone 16e. That, by the way, is super impressive. I did a whole video breaking it down on why the C1 is just the start of a major breakthrough for Apple. I encourage you to check it out, and I put the video link in the description, as well as linked it here. Anyway, the same goes for Apple's new smart glasses chip. When designing smart glasses, it needs to be able to balance weight, physical size, and power consumption. By using its own custom chip, it can help it outperform the competition. Personally, I really like Meta's Ray-Ban smart glasses, I will say I don't use the AI Assistant all that much, but it's really nice to take quick photos and videos with. It's really had me curious how Apple would approach a similar product. Anyway, the report says Apple's finishing up work on its first smart glasses chips, and they'll go into production during the summer of 2026. TSMC will be manufacturing them like they have with Apple's other silicon. That would mean Apple's first smart glasses are on track to hit the market by Christmas of 2026, or early 2027. It's said that smart glasses have become a top priority for Tim Cook. They're basically a perfect combination of Apple's new AI efforts and Vision Pro. Even if the first set is, again, just an Apple version of the Meta glasses, they would still have a camera to assess the world around you and rely on Siri to answer questions would likely run Visual Intelligence, the first feature that debuted on the iPhone 16 line. You can look at something and have it translated, add to your calendar, solve an equation, or just tell you what it is. Of course, this all assumes that Apple has its next-gen Siri ready by that point. I think it's interesting to see Apple putting so much into cameras on devices. I did a whole other video where I talked about Apple's efforts to add cameras to Apple Watch and AirPods for similar reasons. The AR version of these is harder to predict. It's also hard to tell how far Apple will go out of the gate. There's kind of a huge range in terms of how the AR features could look. For example, it could be like the even realities glasses. I played with these at CES and they were very cool. Super comfy, lightweight, and basically just projected info onto a tiny screen on the lens. These wouldn't be hard for Apple to get out in a year or two without too much hassle. But if you wanted full AR-style product that anchors images to the world around you, basically putting Apple Vision Pro into a set of tiny spectacles, it's another thing altogether. I think that version, while the ultimate goal, is realistically much further away. It would require an insane degree of miniaturization and advancement in tech before it could reasonably be put into a consumer product. Still, 
It's very interesting to see Apple making gains here, and I'm very excited we may have our very first Apple smart glasses in just over a year. Let me know, would you try a pair of Apple smart glasses? Drop me uh, your comments down below. Otherwise, subscribe, and I'll see you all in the next video.